I used Tom and Jay in a lot of commercials, and we stayed in touch. And they continued on, and they were playing famous places like Mr. Kelly's in Chicago and uh, uh, upstairs at the downstairs in New York, and, but it was still a struggle. And at that time, a rather famous manager who we all miss very much died a couple of years ago, Bernie Brolstein, who's represented some of the, some of the, most, the biggest names in, in show business. He saw their act somewhere on the East Coast, I think in Philadelphia, and, and he brought them to Hollywood. But uh, he, not, as a, not as a comedy team, he suggested they focus on writing. So back in those days, we would have summer replacement shows. Uh, Carol Burnett would go off and there would be the Buddy Greco uh, summer replacement thing. And they started writing on that. And th through their work there, they were very fortunate. Bernie got them on the Carol Burnett show. And if you wrote for Carol Burnett, you, that was, you automatically won an Emmy. You know, and they both did. Then uh, they wanted to do sitcom, Get Out of Variety, and they were hired by Grant Tinker, who is running Mary Tyler Moore Productions, to come in and show run and produce the Bob Newhart show. This is the Newhart show where he was the psychologist in Chicago. And they were in, I think, their third season of doing that. I had come out to L.A. to direct a television commercial, and uh, I actually stayed at Jay's house, and I told him I didn't want to be in the advertising business anymore, and that I thought I could be a television comedy writer. And so Jay got me a meeting with Grant Tinker, and uh, uh, which was really a lucky, huge, seminal event in my life. And, and so uh, I went up, and Grant uh, was uh, extremely kind, as he always was, and cordial. And all I had was my sample reel of commercials, many of, whom, many of which were very funny. And he watched it, and he said, yeah, this is great, but, you know, I don't know how it translates into what we're doing here, be you... Uh, uh, a writer or a director, this three camera thing is a very specialized deal and I'm not sure it works, so I uh, will keep you in mind. And I said, well, do you have any kind of opening anywhere? And he said, not for a guy who's president of an advertising agency. He said, I've got a thing where we're going to hire uh, somebody from USC to be a gopher uh, and he's, we're going to try to get him into our director training program. And I said, well, I would like that job. And he said, well, it, you know, it pays $200 a month. No, $200 a week. I said, I want it. I want it. And I took it. I was recently divorced and had a, a little child in uh, Atlanta. My uh, former wife, who is, remains one of my dearest friends, she said, well, uh, you know, we'll stop the uh, alimony until, you, you know, if you can just do child support. And uh, my wife of 40 years, who I then met, uh, she came out, and I started at MTM uh, in this gopher thing, but I was like 30 years old, and so when I'd go up and ask Alan Burns and Jim Brooks what they wanted from the deli, they all said, that, you know, you're too old to get sandwiches. <laughs> and so uh, what I, uh, just a wonderful thing opened up for me. I could go down to the Mary set, for instance, where, by the way, which gave me goosebumps just seeing the set, the empty set, because back in Atlanta, the bars were empty on Friday nights because everybody went home to watch uh, the, all the, the lineup of those big comedies. Mm -hmm. So it was a mind bender to even see that, but I got to sit up in the stands and watch uh, how the week progressed on the Mary Tyler Moore show. I watched the readings, then I could see Jay beginning to um, 
beginning to block out the show. Then I saw the writers come down and, and look at a really rough rehearsal, the thing, the show barely on its feet. And then I was absolutely amazed by the rewrites that went on. These The writers would go back and they would be there till I don't know, God knows how late, well, I found out how late later. And then the next day, oftentimes, there would be almost a whole new script. Uh, the actors made no attempt to memorize anything because they knew everything was in play and completely in flux. By, when, by Wednesday night, the script was pretty much in place, and uh, Thursday was a technical day, and then Friday was uh, rehearsal and shoot. Uh, and I was able to just, I mean, they didn't even know who I was down there. I think finally uh, somebody said, who are you? <laughs> you know, and I said, well, you know, it's, boy, where are you from? Uh, you want to be a comedy writer or Southerner? I'm not sure that works. Uh, and then uh, I finally uh, got a, a script assignment, again, through the mercy of Tom and Jay, Tarsus and Patchett, to write a new heart show. And I tried to write a spec when everybody said, you know what, you better stick to directing. But I'd been able to watch the show for a while and all that, and I wrote a script and they said, pretty good. And so I wrote another one and another one and I sort of became uh, an unofficial writer on the new heart show and that was so much fun. I went down there and <laughs> <laughs> Again, nobody introduced me, and I would just kind of sit in the back, and finally, this man came up to me and said, Hi, my name's Bob Newhart. <laughs> Who are you? And I said, I'm Hugh Wilson. And he said, Oh, hi, Hugh. What is it you're doing here? And you know, can, I'd like to introduce you to the rest of the cast members. That's the kind of guy he was. Uh, and it was a wonderful bunch of people, and I, that's where I started writing. Um, and I sold a number of scripts. I think I sold six scripts in about six or seven months, so uh, the sandwich stuff was over with in a big hurry. <laughs>